Good afternoon, Joe Victor with Allendale and Corporate, the closing commentary for Friday, June 11th. And, of course, what we saw today was you know, grains a little bit higher. Primarily, I want you to take a look at two markets, and it is the old market as well as coffee. Coffee finally playing a little bit of catch-up as far as the European trade is concerned. U.S. coffee futures higher. Look at the oat futures. The past three days, major rally that we've seen in fundamentally. You look at it technically, you look at it fundamentally. Technically, we are over 50% retracement. Fundamentally, trade is looking at rains in Canada delaying the oat plantings and making sure that canola and plantings for oats are not doing all that well at this point in time. And, of course, we see not only the oat market within the U.S. playing a bit of a uh, catch-up here, but we're also seeing the, the starches, and that is corn as well as wheat. When we saw the oat market holding on, uh, steady higher values, higher values throughout the day, you see the corn and the wheat also starting to post some gains. And, of course, rice, same situation, that is another starch. And, of course, for the week, if you want to write these down, you can. For, for corn, July corn, we finished 2.8% higher. For the beans, 1.2% higher. For the wheat, 1.1% higher in Chicago. 0.4% better for the week when it comes to hard red winter wheat in Kansas City. And as far as the Minneapolis Green Exchange, out of the three wheats, had the best performance, 1.8% higher than we could go values. But, and it, it, this is something that you have to remember, we are in the middle of a wheat harvest when it comes to winter wheat, and that is ongoing primarily in Texas, working its way north towards Oklahoma and then Kansas, number one producer, Kansas, when it comes to winter wheat. And, of course, that is one thing that we take a look at here is short covering. Uh, short covering is, is um, I'm not going to say monumental, but it's something that the end users have to respect. But at the same time, producers, please be patient. It's October, December time frame. Producers see a higher flat cash price when it comes to wheat, and that is for winter wheat. For spring wheat, get away till about the end of January, beginning of February, to see wheat futures higher. But primarily... Not only the rains in Canada, but also we're starting to see some dry weather in China. North, uh, northeastern region, not only impacting corn, but also in the soybeans. And it's something that you have to keep your eye on. And that is, of course, weather not, uh, not only in northeastern China and Canada, but also look at the south-central region in China, and that is where the majority of the livestock. We still see distillers dried grains going to the south-central region. China announced today that they had a, one of the biggest buyers of corn buying corn this week from the United States. That 800-pound grill that's in the room is getting bigger. And, of course, along with that, we see soybean oil. And nice to see that the bean oil itself uh, purchased from China, from or I should say from the United States to China, and that, again, positive for the day. It's supportive. But, again, remember that we're looking at starches when it comes to winter wheat harvest, corn, we are fully planted, starting to see that, again, weather is a non-threat in the United States. Over in the cattle, cash value is down today, and futures also down. On the hogs, we, we said it you know, early this week that we anticipated by the end of Friday we're going to see some higher cash values for hogs, and that's exactly what we saw in the futures higher. And, of course, I uh, invite you to take a look at the free report section in our archive. We've done a special report section, uh, soybeans over corn, and, of course, again, look at base appreciation, look what's going on in China. Take a look at that special report. Any questions or comments, definitely give us a call. Joe Victor with Allendale Incorporated. This is Friday, June 11th. Any questions or comments, give us a call at 800-551-4626 or feel free to give us or take a look at the uh, website, worldwideweb.allendale-inc.com. Thank you. We'll be back with you on Monday.